Osorb is a very interesting material. It's a glass that expands eight times its volume whenever it comes in contact with an organic liquid or substance. Um, it was discovered very serendipitously out of research in my lab that was being done in 2005 looking at developing sensors for explosives at, for airport security. Um, there are a number of uh, places around the United States and the world that the water has been impacted by industrial um, solvents or usages. Therefore, there is a need for technology to clean up that water. And that's what, uh, what Ozorb is being used for. It's trying to use 21st century technology to clean up the industrial messes of the 20th century. I focus on treating flowback water and produced water, which um, are the two major wastewater byproducts of gas drilling and um, production. So this is our mobile pilot unit that we have set up on this 18-foot trailer. The pump at the front of the trailer will pump the contaminated water up into these stainless steel tanks. And so in these tanks, we will have Ozorb. Once the Ozorb has finished extracting the contaminants in the water, the water and Ozorb will be discharged from the tanks out through the bottom and then will flow over this vibratory screener. And so this screener will vibrate, the Ozorb will remain on top of the screen and the clean water will pass through the screen into a holding tank and will then be discharged to whatever the desired location is for the client. I profile TCE groundwater contamination and determine different methods and materials to clean up these sites so they are safe um, for drinking water. This is our iron Ozorb material and it's just Ozorb with embedded iron particles and this is the material that we use for injection sites. And we actually inject it into the groundwater aquifer um, where it makes contact with the TCE and breaks it down so it's no longer toxic. The future of ABS is to continue to develop the Ozorb based technologies for environmental remediation. Um, there's a number of ways co College of Worcester students can be involved in that and have been. For instance, they're interns both in for laboratory work and other aspects of the commercial side. Um, students are on the forefront of the uh, technology developing new and improved versions of materials here on campus. And some of them, if they're interested, can transition that, that, that knowledge and those skill sets into jobs. Ohio is often known as the Rust Belt. And we need to reinvigorate our economy with high-tech jobs. And so having a company that, it, that in, is researching and developing technology, high technology, for water remediation is something that this region needs. I don't think students um, and uh, the general public realize the high quality research that goes on at a college like Worcester. Um, myself and my colleagues are on the front end of chem the chemical sciences. So although um, the College of Worcester may not have the research reputation of a research one in university, we are doing the kind of research that is at the forefront and is likely to lead to new discoveries and new types of technology that will be realized and commercialized in the world.